Hello everyone. The purpose of this video is to illustrate some features in GeoGebra that may be helpful for those of you teaching algebra. First thing I want to show you is how you can add equations and inequalities to your graph. On the input bar you can type in these equations directly. You can type them in any form that you prefer. Um, slope intercept form is acceptable. Point slope form will also work. Um, it will also even recognize standard form for your equations. Uh, I'm going to delete these so that I don't end up with too much happening on my screen. Um, you can also type in inequality. So let's say that you want to use a less than or greater than inequality. You can just type those in using those buttons on your keyboard and you'll notice that it puts the appropriate dashed line beside it. If you need to include those points along the lines you can select your inequality symbol and then hit the equal sign and it will turn it into a less than or equal to symbol or a greater than or equal to symbol as appropriate. So those are how you can add inequalities. Um, one nice feature of GeoGebra is it allows you to use sliders. So let's say you're wanting to have your students explore different properties of a quadratic. So you maybe type in the equation for a quadratic function in a vertex form and you want them to discover how the values for a, h, and k will alter the shape of the parabola. So if I type my equation in like this, notice it creates a slider for each of the variables that I did not identify, a, h, and k. And so students or yourself as the teacher can adjust these values by moving the slider and you can click on the values and change what intervals you want the slider values to go between. So maybe you want them to only explore positive values, negative values, maybe only fractions, you can change those appropriately. There's also an option to add a slider if you go under tools. You can add a slider and place it somewhere on the graph. I'm going to make this one BM. And it will add the slider and then if I come and I write a new equation using that value for m as I move the slider m will adjust in that equation. Um, I think typing in the equations with the variables there and letting GeoGebra generate the sliders on its own is more effective, more efficient, but you can use it that way. Uh, another option is, I'm going to delete all of these again, is you can type in functions and your GeoGebra file will create a table of values for you. So this can again be helpful with different things that we do. So let's say we have a function that is just a linear equation and then I'm going to come over here to the three dots and I'm going to select table of values and it will ask me where I want to start and end and what my step size is so I'm going to make this a little bit wider range negative five to five and notice it puts all of this over under the table tab you can also add a second function and do the same thing and when it creates the table it will just add another column to the side so you can use this feature similar to using a table feature in a graphing calculator if you go under tools there are some other features that are convenient for functions you'll notice the intersect tool you can either select the intersection point or you can select the two objects. So I can select both graphs and then it will label that intersection point for me. Um, I'm going to delete these linear equations so I can show you another feature I want to use. And I'm going to type in this function that will give us a cubic graph. And 
if I go under the tools I can adjust my window so you can see all of this and then you'll notice we also have features of extremum so all you need to do is select the function you don't even need to select where you think those extreme values will be and once I select my function that I have that of course is not cooperating with me So I'm going to select extremum and then I'm going to select my function. And notice it puts a point for each of the two extremum. It goes ahead and labels them. And if I go over here to the algebra tab, it will give me the ordered pair for those two extremum. I can do something similar for the root button. I can select the function and it will identify where these roots are. So this gives you an idea of some of the different features that are available for you to use in your algebra class with GeoGebra.